Hello friends, Scott from Platte River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, you get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. I check in with you once a week to update you on my keto progress and try to check in with you one other day during the week, usually to share something that I've discovered about the ketogenic lifestyle, but occasionally to share a little something that I've discovered about this little journey that we call life. Uh, today is Saturday, which means that it's a check-in day. So I'm gonna check in with you on my goals that I've set for myself and have a couple little things I wanna share with you. And yeah, there we go. So let's get right into it. Um, my goals were to get a DDPY workout in daily, to have a walk daily, to keto snack only on specific days, uh, goal to be 295.6 by July 23rd, and to get my Bible study in weekly. So let's go through them. Uh, DDPY workout daily, did great, 7 out of 7 this week. Feeling really good, feel like I'm back into the groove on that. Um, I'm feeling like I'm starting to get my strength and flexibility back. I went back to the beginner program, as I mentioned to some of the, those of you who've been following me for a while, uh, you know that I'd gotten up to kind of the advanced program, but I went back to beginner mostly because during tax season, obviously I stopped working out for a couple of weeks. Uh, having said that though, the beginner program kind of leads you along with a workout every other day or every couple of days, and then at the very end of the 13 weeks, you do a workout called the Diamond Cutter Workout, which is a pretty tough workout. I decided to start doing that workout at the end of every week, uh, mostly because I'm not all the way back at the beginner program, even though I took some time off, so to speak. I uh, was not all the way back at the beginner program, so I am doing a workout every day. And then on Saturdays, which was this morning, I did the Diamond Cutter Workout, which is like an hour-long workout that kicks my butt, but it's a good, it's a good thing, and it, it does it in a good way. So got that done this morning. Uh, so I've been seven for seven this week, feeling great, uh, getting the workouts in. Building up my flexibility, my strength, uh, and just feeling physically, uh, feeling much, much better. So uh, next, getting a walk-in daily. I did that this week again. Uh, I mentioned to you guys in my video check-in that I had on Wednesday, a couple of creative ways I've had to get walks in this week as things have been uh, a little unsettled on the weather front. A good thing, we definitely have desperately needed some rain here in Nebraska, but uh, we've gotten a lot of rain this week. I feel like we've gotten... Gosh, maybe five or six inches of rain total this week. It's rained a ton. So I did mention I, you know, got a walk in this week to and from my son's band concert. Um, got a walk to and from our youth activity at our church because I live close enough to those things to do that. Then on Thursday, I was not able to beat the thunderstorm. There was a thunderstorm all evening. So I decided to actually go to the gym and got a walk in on the elliptical machine, which was great. Uh, I prefer to walk outside. I think probably almost everybody prefers to walk outside. I don't think I've ever met anyone who prefers the elliptical machine or the treadmill because, hey, we want to be out in nature. And, and why are we doing this, right? Why are we on this journey to, to health if we are never going to go outside? So, but yep, I got that in one day. So felt really good about that. It feels good to get my walks in. I know that my dogs appreciate when I actually walk with them outside, which I did most of the days this week. Uh, I got a walk in this morning after I finished my workout and uh, beautiful day today. We have got, oh my gosh, like 10 or 12 graduation parties to go to today. Graduation is actually today here in North Platte. I don't have a graduate. My son is a junior, but uh, my wife's already getting misty-eyed about the graduation for our son next year, uh, but we have a bunch of graduation parties to go to. As she's a high school teacher. She gets invited to quite a few of those, so trying to do a quick check-in before we take off and start heading to those today, but yes, so got all my walks in, feeling great about that. Um, keto snacking on specific days. I've done really well with that. I did have a keto snack last Saturday. I made a snack because I knew I was going to graduation parties. I mentioned this to you guys in my video on Wednesday, basically having a plan. So I did have a snack, but I don't feel bad about that at all. Uh, I've really limited my snacking, which has been good. Um, I'm feeling much better trying to eat more during my meal times, and that's been really good for me. Um, next snack day is going to be tomorrow, which is Mother's Day. We are going to be celebrating with my much better half and uh, also with my sister-in-law and my mom. I get to see my mom for Mother's Day. So I'm super, super excited about that. I love that I live close to my parents and I get to see them. Um, and I actually am singing in our church congregation tomorrow. I'm singing a song uh, called Miracle. Uh, it's for my mom. So it's not really a Mother's Day song. I asked her what she wanted me to sing for Mother's Day. And this is a, a song about the miracles of Jesus. So... She said she likes Jesus. I said I like Jesus too. So I'm going to sing that song for her tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm going to post that video on this channel, but I, I am going to share that probably on my uh, Facebook. So if you're interested in that, you're certainly welcome to see how that goes. But uh, yeah. So anyway, but Mother's Day is tomorrow. So we're going to have 
<coughs> excuse me, have a keto treat. I think we're trying a kind of a keto trifle. I'll have, have to let you know how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, next to be at 295.6 by July 23rd. That's basically two pounds a week. Um, I was at 317.6 last week. Uh, weighed in this morning at 316.6. So not down the two pounds a week that I was hoping, but down one pound this week. Very excited about that. Feeling good about that. And like I said, I kind of expected sort of a leveling off. You guys know that I had put on uh, way more weight than I wanted to over the last six weeks of tax season. And then, you know, two weeks ago I had dropped seven. Last week I dropped four. Uh, so this week I dropped one. I, I feel like it kind of, there's a little equilibrium uh, sort of a thing that, that's happening there. But feeling good about that. So losing a pound is super. I'm um, very excited about that. Finally getting in my Bible study in weekly. I've definitely been doing that and that's going really well. So happy and excited about that. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to being able to do things more outside. The weather has finally turned nice here in Nebraska. Hopefully the weather is nice where you live. Um, one question that I wanted to pose to you guys today, um, those of you who've been following along on my channel for a long time, or those of you who are brand new to my channel, uh, would be, what questions do you have for me? Are there any questions that you have about my journey, about what I do, um, anything like that? Uh, I do have uh, links to a couple of videos. There's a video of my story that kind of shares with you, uh, the story of my life and my health journey and kind of how I got where I got and, uh, the progress that I've made. I probably need to make an update to that video sometime soon as I posted that video when I started my channel, which was in August of last year. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, yeah, just I was curious if you guys, any questions that you have, anything that you want me to share more of on my channel, uh, anything like that. Uh, put those questions into the comments and I'm going to try to write them down and see if I can't uh, make some videos and sharing those questions, or uh, answers to those questions with you. Um, for those of you who maybe are new to my channel, the one thing that I did want to share with you is that it's really a journey, guys, and I've thought a lot about that. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of time to reflect on that over the last few weeks as I've kind of gotten out of my funk and out of some uh, weight that I gained back. But, uh, you know, I was looking at my progress this week, for example, and I lost a pound. I was hoping to lose two pounds. But, you know, how far I've come and how great that feels. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I started this journey at 475.6 pounds. And I am 316.6 today, which means I'm down 159 pounds. Uh, that's great. Now, I had gotten down just under 300 pounds uh, right before the new year. Uh, so I've given a little bit back. But man, that's great progress. And I'm proud of that progress. And I feel really good. And I'm thankful for the health that I have that I didn't have before and that I've had that I have now that I'm able to go and do things that I want to do and be with my family, be with my kids, participate in their lives. And so, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, take time to reflect on your progress, on the things that you've done in your life, the, the changes that you've made to your life, uh, even if they might seem small to you, or if you're a little disappointed in yourself, if maybe you've given a little back on your, on your progress, remember that it's not a linear journey, guys. Um, it looks a lot more like this ups and downs and we flatten out for a little bit, maybe up and then down. And that's just kind of how life goes, but, uh, be proud of the progress that you've made. Uh, again, any questions that you have for me, uh, pop those into the comments and I will try to answer them. Anything within reason, of course. Um, but yeah, keep calm and keto on guys. We'll talk to you again soon.